This is a cozy 100k plus entrepreneur, and this is a regular entrepreneur. Go to a university, get a useless degree, get a tiring job, survive paycheck to paycheck, buy overpriced goods, live on antidepressants, don't question the system, or choose your own fate. But what the hell is a cozy entrepreneur? And how are you supposed to make $100,000 from being cozy all day? It destroyed my life, and that's just not very fun. So last year I made the switch from hard entrepreneurship to soft entrepreneur, and it changed my entire life. Now see, just after that clip, you already got me thinking that this might be far-fetched. Like, we are five seconds into the video and we already have hard, soft, and cozy entrepreneurs. <laughs> now we fast forward to her work day and I see that she's getting up at 10 a.m. So now I'm like, hmm, six-figure business and you're starting like in the afternoon? Now you might be thinking, Dea, why are you starting work so late at like 10 or 11 a.m.? So I want to welcome you to soft entrepreneurship rule number one, which is a very, very, very strict zero shame policy. Something is literally just not adding up. I'm not going to lie. This, this caught me off guard. The rule number one of her business is basically that it's a judge-free zone. But that just doesn't make sense because that's not what I'm used to. When do you hear that in corporate America? My mind always takes me back to Andy Elliott just screaming with that extra vein popping out of his neck. I mean, he be out here reaching new levels of giga chad entrepreneur. It's a certified salesman. He don't care how old you are, he's still gonna scream at you. Did you say? Was that an excuse? Did you just say I can't? I think what I heard you say is you don't want to. Stop being fucking lazy. You know why some of you in here, your families don't support you? Because you fucking whine, bitch, and complain to them when you go home all the time. Let them know, Andy. You let them know. Now, at this point, you're probably still wondering what the hell a cozy entrepreneur is and why they're out of hand. Well, from my understanding, she's a content creator. She makes 10 TikToks a day, and her whole purpose is to do all this stuff without feeling like she has to do it, without any kind of oomph. And from doing research on her YouTube channel, it seems like she pushes out two or three videos a month, but I'm sure there's much more to that, like freelancing. These freelancer revenue streams have generated hundreds of thousands of dollars for me. So freelancing is basically a one person contractor going and getting clients and working with them for a short period of time. And there's this graph that shows that the most wealthy people in the world, over 40% of them are entrepreneurs. So whether you're a content creator or an online business owner, these people usually run a lot of different businesses. And most of the time they're doing that from the comfort of their own home which is where we're getting cozy from, I guess. But if you're anything like Andy, he's just gonna have a masterclass and yell at you. Does this leader, which is me, able to lead everyone else? Yeah! Andy probably wakes up at two in the morning like, You mere mortals think I need rest? Nonsense, the world needs me. Now, anyways, I think I found a major part of what makes these cozy entrepreneurs the bulk of their money. But I don't think you'll like it because this will take more time out of your day than an actual 9 to 5 job. My boyfriend does not think I can make and launch a new product in 10 hours. No way. No way. 10 hours. It's just no way. It's just not gonna get done. I'm super petty, so I'm gonna make the product in 10 hours, and I'm going to try to make my first dollar off of this brand new product this week. Now, if you don't know the power of selling a product, especially one that's your own, to sum it up for you, that's a check. One day later. Whoa, I just saw that somebody bought the Notion Bank on Saturday. I made the product the week of April 17th, and we did actually make our first sale in that week, which is really exciting. Now look, $130 a month is nothing crazy. But for an entire product that she made in 10 hours, that's pretty good. But again, $100,000 is a lot of money. And I've just been seeing like a uproar of cozy entrepreneurs who just are really pushing the agenda that you don't need to push yourself to do things. And it just doesn't seem like the best message to send out to a ton of young, upcoming entrepreneurs. Now we went over the AdSense, we went over other social media platforms like TikTok and Instagram and being monetized over there. And we covered freelancing and digital products. But what I forgot to mention was that these are only four ways to make a lot of money online. And the beauty behind it is that you can just replicate these same businesses over and over to get more opportunity. The majority of her days consist of working when she wants to. She goes to the cafe to start off her day in the place that she loves, and then she might go read a book or do Pilates. But the bizarre part of that is that she's making six figures from doing a whole lot of relaxing. A cozy entrepreneur is just a business owner who does it without going anywhere. And cozy entrepreneurs think that pushing yourself too hard will just cause burnout and sadness. It's cool to see that all these different kinds of entrepreneurs can make it, but with cozy entrepreneurs, it's out of hand 
hand because they're pushing this narrative. When you're starting any kind of business, whether it's social media or content creation, you have to be resilient from the start. So if you like this video, then go check this one out. Don't forget to like it and subscribe it. This is a big year for the Phil fam. I have so much new stuff coming out for you guys very, very soon.